Who, all right, guys, who is ready to be positive in this YouTube video? As you see by the title, I'm going to be giving some credit to our general manager, Slick Rick. Now, listen, I know the memes of all oh, Rick Spielman. You know, he needs another seventh rounder. It's like it's like drugs to him. You know, he's addicted to seventh round picks. You know, we mess around with Slick Rick a lot, and obviously we get on him with the old line a lot. But listen. We are pretty grateful to have Rick Spielman, and honestly, he's done a great job this offseason, and I am super, super excited for this next season because I think this Vikings team has, honestly, untapped potential that I don't think we even understand as Vikings fans how good they could be. I am going to be pushing this bandwagon for the longest time. I think this Vikings team is legit next year. I think they're going to have an incredible special year. Anyways, I got to give some got to give immense credit to rick spielman right now with what he's done this offseason i think he still needs to make moves but just over the past couple of years i think rick has really i mean he has gotten in his bag a little bit and we're going to be giving compliments to him right now in this video if you guys are new here subscribe to the channel it helps me a lot leave a like on the video comment down below like always i want to hear what you guys think about our gm anyways rick spielman let's talk about him Okay, Slick Rick, my guy. I love Slick Rick. I love Rick Spielman. You guys know this. I think he's been a great GM. I think he is not the problem in Minnesota at all. I think if I think if there's a hierarchy of, you know, who's the problem if we can't win games, I think, you know, obviously we look at the big three, Cousins, Zim, and Spielman. I think I think Spielman is shouldn't even be thrown in there. I don't think he is near the problem at all. Anyways, if you just look at his draft class last year, you know, that draft class... I'm looking at it right now. You look at the first four picks. There's a chance they could all be pro bowlers. There's a chance they could all make serious impact next year for this team. Obviously, you all would know Justin Jefferson. I mean, listen, that reaction Rick Spielman had when Jefferson fell to him, it wasn't like, a, oh, sh oh, sh oh, should we take this guy? Jefferson just fell to us. Like, why didn't they take him? It was like they were waiting for the Eagles to mess that up. They were waiting for the Eagles to not take Jefferson. They even said it. They're like, oh, I'm assuming they're going to take Jefferson from LSU because everybody thought that. And he fell to us. We picked up Justin Jefferson. You know, he's a top 10 receiver already in the league. I think he makes a jump into the top five, top seven this next season. But even if you look past that, Jeff Gladney in the first round. Gladney, up and down year. But I kind of see this, kind of see just a really good corner out of him. If I had to pick out Gladney's career, He's going to be in the NFL a long time. He's got unreal talent. We could also see these guys develop, so we don't really know, but I saw a lot of promise. And then his other brother, Dantzler. Cameron Dantzler, I don't know what it is about him. I just see star. I just see with his length. I just see potential. I just see somebody who can be that lockdown corner for Zimmer and be that guy that can shadow other teams' receivers. Obviously, he needs to put on weight. That's been, that's been what we've been saying, but now he finally has a whole offseason with us, and I think bringing in a guy like pet pete this offseason even gives guys like glanny and dantzler more value and spielman knows that so i have to get credit for him for that you know spielman he didn't need to bring in pat pete i mean listen pat pete like on the book or like on the x's and o's is probably he'll i mean he will definitely make an impact but i think more of the impact spielman thought of when bringing in patrick peterson was for the young guys even the three names i just list, listed even jefferson Jefferson going against a guy like Pat Pete in practice every day and a guy like Pat Pete to break down his film with him night and day from what he had last year. How about guys like Jeff Gladney, Cameron Dantzler, night and day to have a guy break down film with them, have a guy teach them how to be a young man in the NFL. Spielman knew this. He brought him in and I loved it. And then he went out and he brought back Mackenzie Alexander. You know, a corner with a ton of talent, a slot corner, which the Vikings needed. Bring him in on a small deal. Let him get under the Pat Pete tutelage. Now they have literally four the five corners, even a fifth corner in Mike Hughes, who I'm like, I feel really good about this. And then you also have to look down that draft last year at a guy like Ezra Cleveland. I mean, he was a guy who I think is going to have a pretty good career. He came onto the scene and dominated the Green Bay Packers when Dalvin Cook ran crazy up and down this year for a little bit. But he was a lineman, and I know he doesn't really hit linemen, but I would consider that a definite plus right now to the Minnesota Vikings. And then also finding a gem like DJ Wonham. I think DJ Wonham, I think he is kind of an up and there. I think he could be something, but then again, there's 
always a chance that obviously he cannot be like i mean he something could go wrong but if he stays in the system and you look at the raw natural athletic ability of dj Wanham, he definitely has the chance to be a superstar in this league next to a daniel hunter with an andre patterson i just think rick spielman's a really next level thinker i think he thinks about stuff that I that I wouldn't think about when I was when I was recruiting a guy to come play for my football team. You know, a lot of people in the NFL think it's like think it's Madden where there's not real life going on. It's people don't think the NFL is a business when it's a the biggest business in the world, frankly, at the end of the day. And I think Rick Spielman understands that. And I think he's starting to understand that more as he's maturing as a general manager and figuring out what works. You know, I think he realizes he needs to bring in people to teach these young guys. He's always been a component of bringing in veterans. And he's also, he understands where to find the diamonds in the rough. I mean, I think he really has a talent for that. Yes, we sometimes miss out on big first round names, but who doesn't? What Rick has done, he has been able to turn a guy like Thielen, to get a guy like Cook in the second round, to get a guy like Herb Smith in the second round, to find guys like Eric Kendricks in the first, who is an absolute stud linebacker, find a guy like Daniel Hunter, to go get a guy like Michael Pierce in free agency last year to replace Linval Joseph. Obviously, Pierce opted out. We don't even know how impactful he can be. And then you look at the Dalvin Tomlinson sign, and I'm like, This guy is on fire lately. You know, the Vikings, I think they had a real chance two years ago to kind of go in the tank mode after the 2017 NFC NFC Championship meltdown. And then you followed up that year with a pretty shaky year. But listen, he's paying his quarterback a lot of money. Obviously, I don't agree with that. That's something I'll never agree with with an NFL GM. But the fact that he was able to kind of give Kirk Cousins a a lot around him while Kirk's making a good amount of money... Props to Rick Spielman. This has been, honestly, it's been on my mind. Rick, grateful because I've seen the Chicago Bears and how they ran. And wow, and I am just thankful that you're our GM and not theirs. Uh, listen, I think the Vikings, I think we all need to be a little more grateful for a, for, a, for a man, Rick Spielman. Appreciate his greatness a little more. You know, I think, you know, just like in anything in life, the more you do it, the better you get at it. I think we're seeing that with our GM right now. I think he's improving at his job, and I would not want to see him go. I'll be extremely pissed if he ever ends up leaving us. He should be our GM for the for the next couple of years at least. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think about Slick Rick and the off seasons he's had and the drafts he had in the past couple of years. Let me know what you guys think down below. Skull Vikes. Talk to you guys later. Peace.